Hey everyone, I'm Norm Ferrar, and today we're going to be talking about four common scams that target Amazon sellers. But before we get into it, subscribe to our channel below and make sure that you check out our privatelabellegion.com website for free information and a ton of resources that'll help keep you and your business on track. Now, one last thing, make sure you check out our Facebook group and give us a like. Now let's jump into it. Not to sound like a scared old guy, but the internet is full of scams. Every year, scam artists develop their methods to become more and more realistic to the point that even they can fool seasoned online business owners. Hey, I remember my sister and my brother were both caught up in ransomware scams. I don't know how they both got up within about a month of each other, but they had to pay around $1,500 a piece because they caught the same scam. There was a, uh, a message that came onto their computer screen that they caught a virus and to click on this to resolve it, ended up at a call center and they ended up having to, well, they were scammed and they had to pay $1,500 each. And even myself, I thought I pretty much saw everything. I didn't see this one coming. All of a sudden, one day I log in and I'm blocked uh, in my email account and also trying to do anything with my website. Somebody had gone in and I don't know how they did it, but they got my one of my company's domains. They blocked me out and of course all my social media was going to an address that was in that domain. They had control of everything. So it was a learning point. Anything, any uh, messaging that has to come back to me is now like let's say it's for social media or to get a password result it's outside of the domain name so kind of keep that in mind that's one thing that if i can give you some advice on it would have saved me a ton of grief and aggravation and by the way yeah i had to pay a pretty penny for that domain but i got it back but today i was thinking about let's take a look at some of the latest scams or at least even some of the more common ones that Amazon uh, sellers fall victim to and the best ways to protect yourself from these digital pirates. So first, we'll take a look at a few ways that buyers have been able to scam Amazon sellers. So a common scam is from your customer. Yes, the buyer. They claim that they've never received their package. Have you ever seen that email? A seller may receive a message saying that the package never arrived or that it may have been stolen. The other group is a group that you probably never even thought of, but it is the rebate or freebie group where these buyers like to take advantage of discounts and rebates. And one of the things that they try to do is not only get one product for free, but they get try to get two products for free saying that they never got the first product. Unfortunately, there's only so much you can do because failed delivery attempts do actually happen. There are some legit ones. Not everybody is unethical. It happens and you just have to, if you're an Amazon seller, you just have to grin and bear it. Smile and wave. It happens. You have to take that into consideration of your knowing your numbers. So maybe that's 1%, maybe it's less than 1%, but it's going to happen. Just be aware of it and you treat each one as a legitimate claim. And this is just to avoid any nasty feedback on your seller central account. So anyways, you know, it's going to happen. Just be aware of it. Now, if you're an Amazon FBM seller, which is fulfilled by merchant, the best option is to sign up for trace and track postage, as you can easily see if the product was delivered on time and who signed for it. Now let's move on to number two. This is a variation of the similar tactic that was happening above, and that is replace and refund. This is where a buyer who already owns duplicates of your product may claim that they have received your product damaged and file a complaint asking for a replacement. They'll then send one of the duplicates that they've damaged or used. It might just be one product that they've used and now they want a new product back to receive a brand new product. Now get this, my buddy, Paul Barron, who's an Amazon seller, he's an Amazon expert. 
he got caught up in this where he sold some swim diapers to a customer. They returned it for a new package. So Paul just sent them out the new package, making sure that the customer was happy only to have the buyer or the customer send back a used diaper. Yes, a poopy diaper, which was sent out. Amazon accepted it and they had it nicely packaged. They sent it out to another customer only to get a one star review because it had poop in it. Anyways, that's a true story. And I can't believe that's the worst case scenario. <laughs> Anyways, the best ways to avoid dealing with these scammers is to make sure that your packaging is actually durable. But if you have a high quality package, you might want to have a, a transparent a little sticker on it where it can't open up and the product can't dump out in the UPS truck. Anyways, secure your packaging as well. Some of our clients have bottles. We have to ship bottles out. And if Amazon ships out a bottle, just I don't know if you've ever seen this, but a glass bottle filled with liquid, um, sometimes they'll put it into an egg carton. Sometimes they'll do a bubble wrap. That can easily be a problem. Why don't you take a few cents? It might be a dollar. It might be whatever. Try to build it into your packaging, into your into the product cost so that you know that your product is going to arrive in a proper package. It's going to increase the customer experience and you're not leaving it into Amazon's hands to package a bottle in an egg carton. And I got to tell you, that's exactly what they do. I ordered some at during the holidays and I got a couple of bottles delivered in egg cartons and in bubble pack. So just keep that in mind. Another pointer is just to have tamper proof stickers or some form of packaging. It could be as simple as a bar of soap where you have that tuck box with a safety seal on it. So, you know, nobody's opened it up at the store and touched it. Or if you think of maybe a supplement where you buy two supplements, one comes and it has a lid with a safety seal. The competitor comes in an outer box with a transparent safety seal. You have to cut through it to get to the supplements and they have shrink wrap around them. You have to take that off, go through the safety seal. And then to get to the supplements, you have the, the cotton. So there's all these steps that somebody has to go through. And I think that's just like a, a psychological advantage over a competitor. So anyways, that's just my opinion. Uh, whenever I try to beat my competitors, that's one way that I can do it. And if it's just somebody that's trying to replace something or um, like uh, like we were talking about before, the poopy diaper, well, you know it's used. And so you could take advantage of that and you can see it right when it comes back. Okay, let's move on to number three. Number three, rebates. We don't use rebates anymore. We did. At one point we were using rebates and we were seeing the sales velocity. We, we saw advantages to it. I know some sellers and some other experts were never have done it. Well, at one point we saw and we thought that this was a great alternative to some launch and rank um, opportunities and we took full advantage of the opportunity. This is not the case anymore. Amazon's come out and they've said, and, and there was no gray area, by the way, I just want to make sure it used to be, I do hear people say, oh, it's great. They don't really say it. Yes, they've said it now using rebates is against TOS. And if they catch you using rebates, you got a problem. Okay. You might have account suspended. You might have, a, you might be banned. Anyways, I think it's important that you understand that. And the other thing is that if you use rebates from some of these Facebook groups or wherever you're doing it, there are tutorials on the internet showing people how to take full advantage of you how to open up Gmail accounts, how to take advantage of maybe 100 or 50 or 150 rebates, and then take over your buy box. So you've paid for it, you've paid for your, your rebates, you've paid for your product, they've got it for free, and now they've captured your buy box. Talk about insult to injury. So if your risk tolerance is up here and you still wanna do rebates, that's fine. 
There are many other options that you can do to have a great launch and rank strategy. So just kind of keep that in mind. And finally, number four, we're gonna talk about something I started this video with, with my brother and my sister, and that's how they got caught up in a phishing scam. Not a phishing rod, we're talking about phishing, P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G. Phishing and email scams have been around for years and are still one of the most common ways that you can lose control of your seller central account and the biggest way that you can lose financial control. So just think about losing, your, uh, losing financial control of your bank account. Have you ever opened up your spam folder and seen an email address that looks similar to Amazon's official address, but is a little wonky? It might say something like bob at site.amazon.com. It's a weird Amazon email. Addresses like that are definitely fake. Some of these fakes are very obvious, but some look dangerously close and realistic to the Amazon official Amazon.com email. In fact, even if it says Bob at Amazon.com or whatever, within the email body, make sure if there's a link that you just hover over it and see where that link goes. Because if that link goes to site.amazon.com, bob at site.amazon.com. This is another way that the scammers have now taken what looks like a legit email and just goes to another scam site. Now, if you were to click on one of these email URLs, you could be brought to a very convincing Amazon hyphen seller hyphen central.com or amazon sellers.com and that could be very similar to amazon but it is definitely not amazon even though it contains the word amazon or seller central do not click on these links anything other than sellercentral.amazon.com is most likely like 99.99% fake and you could put your account at risk. So beware that these types of emails come from fake buyers or accounts acting like Amazon admin. And remember what I said at the beginning, even though it may say amazon.com, hover your mouse over top of the link to see really where you're gonna be going to and what the URL is gonna be located. And don't worry, there are plenty of ways to prevent yourself from falling prey to online scam artists. And most of these methods are very uncomplicated. I can do it. In general, it's a good idea to sign up for Amazon Brad Registry as they have their own team and AI software combining to fight fraud and scams. They won't be able to help you out or it's gonna be a lot tougher if somebody else has accessed your account through a phishing email. It'll be tough, it won't be impossible to get it back. It's so important that you never, ever share your information, your account information and password in the same in email. If you have to send it by email, I break it up into different communication channels or even break up the password into two separate emails, or put one in an email and one on Skype or whatever it is, but separate them so they can't kind of combine the two. Also, what we use in within our team is LastPass, and there's also RoboForm. In fact, for me, I actually have LastPass and I have RoboForm. So, uh, but I use with our team, we share a premium version of LastPass. Uh, the free version will do exactly the same, and you can control uh, who you're sending your passwords out to. And if you no longer want that person to have your password, you can just go in and simply remove them. Have you turned on two-step authentication and your push, push notifications? If you haven't, turn them on. As simple as this sounds, it has another layer or another barrier between you, your account, and the scam artist. Push notifications are designed to let you know when somebody unfamiliar logs into your account. Taking these preventative steps will ensure that your account will stay out of the nasty hands of these digital pirates. 
and you can continue to focus on building your business. Do you have any scam artist horror stories? Or if you've heard of any new scams, please share them in our comments section. As always, for more information, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our free Facebook community at thelegion.group. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.